Blessed be the name of the Lord, who redeems us from sin and death. For us and for our salvation, Christ became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Blessed be the name of the Lord. After Jesus was arrested and taken away, Peter was alone in a courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You were with Jesus, the Galilean. But Peter denied it before all of the people gathered there, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. Later, another servant saw him and said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, Peter denied this saying, I do not know the man. After a while, more strangers came up to Peter and said, Certainly you were with Jesus. Your accent betrays you. He began to curse them, saying, I do not know that man. At that moment, the cock crowed, and Peter remembered that Jesus predicted that he would deny him three times. He went out from that place and wept bitterly.
before Jesus was brought to the Roman governor and Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, you say it is so. But when he was accused by the chief priest and the elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, do you not hear how many accusations are made against you? But Jesus gave no answer, not even to a single charge. It was a custom during the festival for the governor to release a prisoner that was chosen by the crowds. At that time, a notorious prisoner was being held by the Romans named Barabbas. Pilate called out to the crowd, whom do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? While he was sitting on the judgment seat, Pilate's wife sent word to him, have nothing to do with this innocent man, for today I have suffered greatly because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to choose Barabbas to be released. The governor again asked them, which of the two do you want me to release? And they cried, Barabbas. Pilate responded, then what should I do with the one who is called the Messiah? They shouted even louder, let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that a riot was about to begin, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. He released Barabbas and, after flogging Jesus, handed him over to be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourself. Then the people as a whole answered, His blood be on us and on our children. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Gol Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he could not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head, they put the charge against him, which read, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were, mock were mocking him, saying, he saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. 
He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now, if he wants to, for he said, I am God's son. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. After the noon hour, darkness fell over the land. At about three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some bystanders heard this, they said, he is calling for Elijah. And one of them ran and got a sponge filled it with wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. When the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, truly, this man was the son of God. Many women were also there looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own tomb which he had hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a great stone across the door of the tomb and went away. And Mary Magdalene and the other women remained waiting near the tomb.
We glory in your cross, O Lord. For by the virtue of your cross, joy has come to the world. May God be merciful to us, show us the light of his countenance, and come to us. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving help among all nations. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. O Savior of the world, who by the cross and precious blood have redeemed us, Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. O my people, O my church, what have I done to you? Or in what have I offended you? I led you forth from the land of Egypt and delivered you by the waters of baptism, but you have prepared a cross for your Savior. Lord, have mercy on us. I went before you in a pillar of cloud, but you have led me to the judgment hall of Pilate. I brought you to a land of freedom and prosperity, but you have scourged, mocked, and beaten me. Lord, have mercy on us. My peace I gave, which the world cannot give, and washed your feet as a servant. But you draw the sword to strike in my name and seek high places in my kingdom. Lord, have mercy on us. I called you to go and bring forth fruit, but you cast lots for my clothing. I prayed that you all may be one, but you continue to quarrel and divide. Lord, have mercy on us. I grafted you into the tree of my chosen people Israel, but you turned on them with persecution and mass murder. I made you joint heirs with them of my covenants, but you make them scapegoats for your own guilt. Lord, have mercy on us. I came to you as the least of your brothers and sisters. I was hungry, but you gave me no food. Thirsty, but you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, but you did not welcome me. Naked, but you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, but you did not visit me. Lord, Let us pray together the prayer which our Lord has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. May Jesus Christ, who for our sake became obedient unto death, even death on a cross, keep you and strengthen you now and forever. Amen.